baseball on a Friday night. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, Austin Gomber. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Okay, all set to go. Now here is Jared Kellner. Fastball in for a strike, and we are underway. Right through there for a strike. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Austin Riley. And a foul ball. Riley is one of those players that made his presence known in the majors right away. He hit a 438 foot home run off of Michael Walker fastball in his second at bat, which is probably the best way to make a first impression as a rookie, boo. Strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. His second home run of the series. The Braves score first. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. So two down, and next for Atlanta, Matt Olson. Pitches in there. It's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Coors Field. And on the mound now, Charlie Morton. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Bottom of the first, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. Oh, well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. The shortstop takes the ball. The pitch. And down on strikes. And now one away. Now it's Brendan Rogers. And first offering is fouled off.
One out, base is empty. Hard ground ball, base now. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Then at first, next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. And there's a foul ball. Rodgers over at first with one away. And there's a ball. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Into the outfield base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back-to-back -back singles just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Chris Bryant now. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Here's the throw. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Jacob Stallings now. He's been a great free agent side. Pitch misses. 1 and 0. Oh. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is in for a strike. And it's second. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Center field. Stretches out and hauls it in. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Michael Tolia stands in now and watches strike one. Runner at second, two down. Late that time, and it's strike two. Just off the inside corner. Now one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Two outs. And another ball. Hunter Goodman up next. That one is hammered right field. Loriano going back just missed it but they'll pick up a couple runs here both coming on this two-run double and this is now a 2-1 ball game
It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Orlando Arcia. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Just missed. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Yeah, that's outside. Now two and two. That one missing inside. Looking for the K. Well, oh, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. The Rockies up by a run here at the top of the second. And now it's even up. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Rodgers whips it to first on the run. And that quickly, two away. Loriano comes up to hit. Going one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And it's second here with two away. Adam Duvall at the plate. Just missed. Man on second, two down. That's in there, and it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. The pitch swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Braves strand one. And our score remains 2-1. Back here in Denver, we head to the bottom of the second. So in now for Colorado, Hunter Goodman.
Morton back to work. And that drops in for a strike. And a pop up right side foul territory. Catcher tosses the mask settles under it. Puts it away for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Sam Hillier digging in for the Rockies. That one finds the zone. 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Batting none. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's the rookie third baseman. Aaron Schunk. Gets the call. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. Late with the swing there. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. And yeah, that's outside. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. New inning getting started with Merrifield up to the plate. Gomber back to work. Merrifield goes six foot one, hitting ninth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. A little bit low. Next pitch is outside. On the inside corner for a strike. Downstairs and it misses ball four. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Here's Jared Kelnick. His first hit bat was a strikeout. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Gomber checks over to first, and he's back. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the one two misses to even the count. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Kicks and deals. Off the mark there. Three and two now. Austin Riley in the on deck circle. Lifted in the air out to left. Hillier just towards it. Squeezes it. Now 
Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Foul ball there. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Here comes the 0 1. Ball one there. And now the lefty. Now he breaks his bat. Got him on the off balance throw. As the pitcher brings it in for the out and the runner advances to second. Well, that actually works out for the hitter. If it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's already homered here in this one. Ozuna swings and drives one. Well hit to left. Pulls it in on the warning track. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rockies two and the Braves one. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. That one missed. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. Home run number 20 on the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. Swing and a base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Brenton Doyle digs in now. Singled and scored his first time. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. It bangs off the wall. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and they lead by three. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. He drove in two with a double his first time up. Misses inside. And that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Doyle leads off second with nobody out.
swing and a miss chased it out of the zone wouldn't chase that time swing and a miss struck him out had him way out front of the slur Bogey just ran out of patience there he took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes but that time chased outside the zone Stolens batting for the second time and that's strike one when you're struggling out there on the mound hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard man at second fly ball down the line and that will drop foul the other way and there's a hit around third the throw in he's safe Here's Michael Tolia. Flied to right his first time. Ball and there's a ball. Ball one, no strike. Pitch misses. And now 2-0. At the belt and fires. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Man at first, one away. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And now the right fielder, Hunter Goodman. He's over one. Foul ball. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. And he deals. Pitch misses, gonna count one and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Good eye in that spot. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He sends it out of here. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 7 1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That's all for Charlie Morton. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound.
Spencer Schwellenbach gets the ball now. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Now the left fielder, Sam Hilliard. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. And misses inside. Movement in the bullpen. Luke Williams up and throwing. Lifted in the air right center field. Sizes this one up. And makes the play and that's out number three. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And the lead is stretched to 7 1. As we go to the top of the fourth, digging in, Matt Olson. Matt Olson. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. The lefty fires. Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. Perfectly executed 12-6 curveball right there. And with that kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wedge. Arcia in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. To third, Shunk. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting, the catcher, Travis Darno. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Travis Darno grounded out his first time. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And ball one. one, and one. And a pitch. That's ball two. Hard hit left side. Sends it to Tolia. And it's a one, two, three inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here. They're down seven to one. Bottom of the fourth, now the third baseman, Aaron Schunk. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that one hammered. That's back there. Bangs off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Wastes no time there. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. He's already homered in this game. And a foul ball. With all these Rockies putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. He steps on the bag, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Number seven, second baseman, Brendan. Next to hit for the Rockies, Roger. Brendan Rodgers.
So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. The 1 0. Way inside, gets out of the way. Chunk stands at third with one gone in the inning. On the ground to the left, Arcia throws the first in time. There for the out, runner scores from third. Two outs, bases empty. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. That clips the zone. Strike one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Two down, nobody on. Back to the mound. He's got it. Tosses to first, and that'll do it. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. We played four. It's the Rockies eight and the Braves one. Back here at Coors Field, all set for the start of the inning. Here's Ramon Laureano. Ramon And here it comes. Smoke to right center, and this one's gonna go out of here. A massive home run. His fourth home run of the season. It's 8-2. First pitch swinging, and he got the fastball. He knew exactly what to do with it, too. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And... You know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. Here's the left fielder Adam Duvall. First pitch and he just misses. You know these Braves as this game goes on have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Next offering is in for a strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working. The that one ripped. And it one hops the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Next to hit, Whit Merrifield. And first offering is fouled off. Man at second. Swinging a foul straight back. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Got him. And there's one down. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. 
So the batting order turns over. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Jared Kellner. Just missed. One run across in the frame so far, and we're at the top of the fifth. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. The run comes in from second, and it's 8-3. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay, not in time. He's safe. Now, Austin Riley. And that one fouled off. Strike two. Here comes a pitch. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Ozuna lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Just off the outside edge. Two balls, no strikes. And another ball. Kelman on third with two out. So now two on and two outs. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. So they're at the corners now. Here's Matt Olson. Fastball for a strike. With a runner at third, this is who they wanted to play. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a foul ball. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Runners on first and third, two away. That one misses. And that's ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. The pitch. Swings and misses. Inning over, and it could have been worse. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rockies eight and the Braves three. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Colorado's DH, Chris Bryant. Bryant. 
The right hander back to work. That one inside. Ball one. All these Rockies digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. That misses the zone. Two and one. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. That one misses, and that's ball three. Right through there for a strike. Fouls it back with two strikes. Payoff pitch. And that's too high. Ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Michael Tolia getting ready to hit. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Sizing this one up. And he makes the catch. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. The right fielder, number 15, Hunter. Goodman. So in now for Colorado, Hunter Goodman, one for two. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two on, one out. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. Here's the 0-2. Wouldn't chase that time. Runners at the corners, one away. Last half of inning number five. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Got him. Two away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, two outs. Just off the inside edge. And there's the automatic. Fought off foul. Bryant, the runner at third. Stallings at first, two out of the inning. Got him swinging. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning.
All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now, here is Orlando Arcia. Gomber back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Fastball for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. The shortstop takes a ball. Fouls it off, still one and two. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Rodgers makes the grab, one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Travis Darno, next up for the Braves. Darno, 35 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2007. That's off the mark. Ball one. Action in the pen down there. Cal Quantrill appears to be getting loose. Bodnick getting cranked up as well. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. And foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, two strikes. And a good eye there. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Two outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And he deals. Hit in the air, right field. Goodman gets under it, makes the catch, inning over. So they go quietly there. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rockies eight and the Braves three. Back here in Denver, John Shabby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Aaron Schunk. The wind of the pitch. And the slider just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. 
Everything came together for him. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And the batter will be the shortstop. Ezekiel Tovar, one for three. First pitch, not close. No outs, runner on second. Just missed. In the air to left, down the line. And it's off the wall, but foul. Right-handed reliever. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Right through there for a strike. Three one count. Saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count full. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. And yeah, there's one away. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Rogers. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. Right down to shoot, and that is strike one. That one in there across the letters. Chunk leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swings and blasts one deep to left center, and that should be extra bases coming home. Now a relay to third, and he's out. But they do get a run. Absolutely perfect execution of the relay right there to cut him down at third. And he probably should have shut it down at second base and been happy with the double, but it took a great play to get him. You just have to tip your cap. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. And there's the strike. Oh and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Oh, Two, Two outs, space is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So a man aboard, and now the DH, Chris Bryant. Pulls that one foul. Swings and misses. 0 and 2. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Righty to the plate. Pitches in the dirt, and the count 1 and 2. Goes down looking. 
So they get one run, three hits, no errors, and one man left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rockies nine and the Braves three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Cal Quantrill. He's pitching on two days rest. Now the left fielder, Adam Duvall. The left fielder, Adam Duvall. The wide to kick the pitch. That's in for a strike. Just missed. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count one and two. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Brings it in, and there's one away. Now it's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. I got a ball, one strike. That one fouled off. And a ball in two strikes. The Braves with a lot of ground to make up here at the top half of inning number seven. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Stays alive. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Still two and two after the foul ball. Grinding A B right here. About to see pitch number 10. High fly ball down the left field line. Pulls it in on the run. Two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Jared Kellner now at the plate. Ball one there. And there's a foul ball. And it goes just foul. And that's outside. Ball two. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. So digging in, Austin Riley. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's outside. Quattro back to work. 
And another ball. Marcelo Zuna on deck for Atlanta. And a pitch. And a foul ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Quadro back to work. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's back. That one hops against the fence. Around third. He'll score easily. It's down nine to four. Back to back base hits. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. So two down. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. And it stays fair around third. Throws to second. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Oh, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Number 41 into the game. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. There's the strike. Ozuna stands at second with two gone. Check swing, no appeal. In the dirt, two balls and a strike. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Man on second, two down. And it's filled up. That's ripped. Base hit. Coming home. He scores. It's 9 6. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Two outs, runner at first. Orlando Arcia will hit next. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. And a pitch. And now two and nothing. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Swing at a ball popped up. And that is that. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Rockies nine and the Braves six. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joe Jimenez. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic number against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jacob Stallings. The catcher. Jacob Stallings. The pitch. That's a slider for a strike. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Luke Williams getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker.
right through there for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Righty delivers off the plate. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One away. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. That one lifted to left on the move. And there are two down. The right fielder, number 15. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit for the Rockies, Hunter Goodman. Close one, doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. Swinging a foul back, that's out of play. One and two here. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Rockies are down quietly, and they won't add to their 9-6 lead. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jason Shreve. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. The wind and the pitch. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Fastball for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Next offering upstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. The wind of the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and fires. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. First strikeout for him in this one. That splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. And now the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. That's outside. 1-0. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. There's the strike. One ball, one strike. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. One down, base is empty. Swung on, belted. That one's back there. Into the bleachers and gone. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they cut into the deficit. It's 9-7.
Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to no. And another ball. Shreve. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. There's a swing and a drive. Banks off the wall. Now he'll turn for second, and he's got his second double of the game. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but well, it's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. One out, runner at second. Whit Merrifield next up for the Braves. Right through there for a strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. And a pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. You know, splitters aren't thrown by a ton of pitchers, and one of the main reasons is that they're difficult to control. And not many guys can spot them consistently where they want to, but he's one of those exceptions. He's found a way to corral a split, and he can place it on a dime just like he did right there. So two down now, and here is Jared Kellner. Clips the corner. It's 0-1. Duvall on its second with two down. Fastball for a strike. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Ground ball right side down the line and it's foul. The tying run at the plate on the ground to third. Nice grab to his knee the throw and that's a nice play to end the inning. Well that right there was all pre pitch positioning put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Pierce Johnson. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. So digging in, Sam Hilliard. The left fielder, Sam Hilliard. The pitch. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Next offering is in for a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Next offering is downstairs.
Foul ball there. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Kelnick sizes this one up. And it's caught for the out. Here's the third baseman, Aaron Schunk. Bounce to the left side. Riley fires to first. Got the out. Now batting. Shortstop. Ezekiel. Show ball. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. That misses, and that's ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, A.J. Minter getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Chavez getting loose as well. And the righty deals. That one catches the corner for a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is one and two. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Bounced out to short. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They lead it by two. It's 9 7. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Tyler Kinley. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And here it comes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, players pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ballgame. And now it's the Braves, D.H., Marcelo Zuna. Swing and a miss, strike one. Tying run at the plate, and it's even up. At the belt and fires. This one in the dirt, and the runner holds. With the tying run at the plate, you're at the top of the ninth. Next pitch is downstairs. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Here comes a pitch. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. And he deals. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Oh. 
And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played, but a slider in the 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. Here is Matt Olson. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And the right hander deals and fouled off. Oh man, that stays fair. We got a new ball game. Great swing, just couldn't keep it between the lines. He's got to try to bottle that, do it again. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. These hitters are relentless, just until the bell sounds and they are going to keep coming at you trying to get you into the corner and knock you out substitution now at second base entering is the pinch runner Eli White now in for the Braves Orlando Arcia he's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup there's a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. So the tying run at second. Swings and misses. Oh, a two down. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Struck him out looking. Now well, big strikeout right there and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that. And I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And now Travis Dardo. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. Two on, two outs. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. That was blasted to the moon. His 12th of the season, it's 10-9. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Victor Vodnik. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And now here is Ramon Laureano. Right through there for a strike. Vodnik, 24 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season.
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Justin Lawrence, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Atlanta gets three on the homer. And the back and forth continues. It's 10-9 now. Back after this on the show. Now into the game, Eli White. He's the new third baseman. Third base, number 36. So they turn to their closer, Rysel Iglesias. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Well, one run game. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rogers. The why to kick the pitch. That's in for a strike at 95. Going one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Good eye right there. That's a really good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Doyle in the box now, takes strike one. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Next offering is down low. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. And that one fouled off. And another ball. Rip towards third. White on to first. And they're down to their last out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. A strikeout and a walk. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. A one-run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. Popped up. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves slug their way to a win in this one. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. In a one-run game as this one ends 10-9. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves 10 runs on 14 hits no errors they left six runners on base for the Rockies nine runs on 13 hits 
no errors. They left four runners 